Hey there, what's up YouTube? This is Kane and we are back for another attempt serving the Salty family as Salty Steve. We are going to be playing on the second scenario anti Dongzuo Coalition. And we're gonna create a whole bunch of custom rulers so that they occupy some of the empty room in the game. Make the game a little less messy. Alright, Salty Boss who has one and all stats will be our ruler and we're gonna start somewhere in the north because it's the most difficult start it's right next to all these bad guys lots of very early fighting will happen oh hang on salty boss one of our rulers and then we'll have Aichi as another ruler will have Your Fate as another ruler and we'll have Liu Shang as another ruler. Oh maybe Tian Tan. This guy is like super awesome. He'll be another ruler. Alright, so let's set up our starting locations. Uh, looks like they are all taking some of these locations. I have to move them away. Okay, so this guy will start over here. Your fate will start um, here. And this guy will start over here. And he will start. Yes, Chong Sun is a little weaker. I start in Chulu. Okay, this will be the start locations. I like a little brighter color. Maybe purple. Yeah, slightly brighter purple, I think, is okay. Okay, so these are the four custom generals, custom rulers that we're setting up. I am going to start with a bunch of characters so the salty family obviously is going to serve me and all these custom characters that we just created Nongkai has now been upgraded so he's a stronger custom general okay the rest of these are uh, generals created by the game so we'll not use these so those guys will serve under us Okay, so the rest of these, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guys, the last, and they will serve him. Okay, so we start with a bunch of guys. Most of them are not very strong. There will there will be two elite generals, uh, Dongkai as well as Salty Steve. Salty Dog is not bad. He is sixty five in all stats, so he's decent. Everyone else is pretty weak. So this will be our start. And we will be playing again as Salty Steve. He is really strong in all abilities. But we are playing on the extreme hardest difficulty. And because we are not playing as a ruler, it is pretty difficult. Alright, we'll have fictional and no events. Because I don't want like Sun Tian dying. I don't want Dong Zuo dying. I want to keep them in the game so I can fight them. Which is more awesome. We'll have fast expansion, which means the AI will start to attack faster, which is fun. We'll have slow troop recovery, so troops do not regenerate so quickly. 
Officer growth, yes for all. Growth speed, normal. Character merit, normal, normal. Everything else looks good. Yep. Alright, we're good to go. Let's start the game. Yep, so we are playing as Salty Steve, which is an overpowered character. He's strong in everything. And he's the ultimate warrior. But we will be serving probably the worst character in the game with one point to all stats. I'll show it as we start the game. Our ultimate ruler, which is Salty Boss. Alright, we're gonna skip the, the story stuff because we've kind of done this before. A couple of times, in fact. So, Dong Zhuo, the public enemy, has now taken over the capital of China and replaced the emperor with his own puppet. He is now public enemy number one. And a union of lords is setting up to fight him. This is Salty Boss. Yeah, he's the guy from Ancient Aliens. The guy who goes, whoa, aliens. You know, that guy. Alright, so the first mission, take two empty cities as well as an P. Okay. Very well. You want me to recruit him? Um, sure, why not? Okay, we'll just have a quick look at Salty Boss, which is our current ruler. So he has one to all stats, but he has all abilities unlocked and a very strong ability that the AI does not really know how to use. Uh, but he is probably the worst character in the game still, because he has only one to all stats. All of these uh, abilities are multipliers to your stats, so if you have no stats, you're going to be shit. <laughs> That is how it is. Alright, so we'll be serving a complete worthless leader. But hey, he's a salty. So salty's got to stick together. Alright, and our first assignment is a recruitment mission. So we're going to go out and hire Su Yo. Let's go, let's do this. Let's go to Zhongshan and hire him. We start off pretty strong. We start off at rank 5. I, I don't know if this is normal. I don't remember setting myself to be start up such a high rank. Maybe it's because we're related to the to the clan leader. Maybe as a relative of the leader we start off as a high rank. That might be it. Now we are only a little lowly officer in this in this empire, so we can't really do anything. What? You can't convince him? Alright, we'll do it again then. You cannot resist us. You will join Salty Boss. Come on, join the Salty Empire. It's good, we have cookies.
Avatar, Dragon, are these full series? Oh, there are missions that are popping up, but I want to make sure that I... Oh, have I already done it? Hang on. Did I already hire... Yeah, there is nobody here, so I think I already hired... What's his name? Yeah, I should probably leave this city. But before we do, let's see if there's anything for sale here. Any good little trinkets that we can use. Well, there is, but we don't have much money. Hmm. I think I will not buy any because we don't have much money. We need to do stuff to make money first. What is this? Nah, we won't do all these missions because I know we have a problem because our ruler is very weak. So we're going to have a lot of trouble very early in the game if we don't build up. Yeah, he did. He did join us. I didn't notice it, but apparently there's nobody left. Oh, wait a second. He didn't join us. No, he didn't join us. He moved to a different city. He moved to Chulu. Okay, so he is here now. So yeah, he didn't join us. Apparently he has moved, so we'll have to recruit him here. Hey, hang on. He's already with us. What am I talking about? He's already here. I just have to turn in the quest. Okay, okay. since we're here, we may as well talk to him, right? Not that it helped, but we talked to him anyway. Since we visited him, and we're going to spend what, a couple of days already. Alright, so what happened is we really, really did the mission, so we have to report success to the boss. Because we are a just an officer. Alright, so boss. Lake Changsha. Very well. We'll do as you ask. So I want to help these guys. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I will help you. We also need to build our relationship with Salty Dog, which is our brother. But apparently he doesn't like us that much. He's not at the maximum relationship. Some money, that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the placate mission, which is move to Changsha and placate those guys. Chufaba. Coax them. Nama, We need to attack Yuan Sao as soon as possible. Because early in the game we are strong, but as we start spreading out, everyone will start attacking us. Because we are not in the Alliance of Lords, so they are not so friendly with us. Alright. Anping. Not Changsha. There we go. Fundamentally flawed? No. We'll duel you. Well, we'll debate you. Same as a duel. How can you stand up to Salty Steve? One hit kill. Oh no, he's retorting. He resisted us. We'll focus and hit him again. <laughs> Provoke him. Oh. That did not work. Alright. Full attack. Holy shit. He's winning. Oh my god. We're losing to an old man. <laughs> we have to win. Oh my god. We lost. <laughs> We lost to an old man. Unbelievable. We have been defeated by an old man. 
impossible. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to do this again. I think we just continue, right? Yeah, we just stay here and... Yet, so just take it. Yeah, I think we just stay here until it continues. Hang on, what's going on here? Is it working or not? Bugo! Yeah, we didn't do that much. Hey, okay, but we got some gold. I wonder if we're actually still placating because I'm not sure. Ah, oh, yes. Captain Chongsan. Fine. It's better. Let's do this. Now that we have an army, I'm gonna go and do my own thing. Yeah, because <laughs> as long as I'm in charge of my army, I can do whatever I want with the army. So once we take that, I'm going to attack Yun Sao. Even though we don't have that many soldiers, we have a very strong ability and we're one of the strongest generals in the game right now. So we can fight a much stronger enemy. And he is attacking somebody. Yeah, Yun Sao is attacking somebody. Oh, he's moving to Kanling. That's fine. We'll invade him. Finish him off now. Before Yuan Cao gets too strong. Okay, we have captured Zhongshan. Uh, I am now governor of Zhongshan. But I will not go back. Yes, I will take the appointment. As governor of Zhongshan. Okay, now I will pause. Okay, so I have food and everything. The problem is he he spread my units into five different units instead of giving it all to me, Salty Steve. But yeah, we're gonna have a good we're gonna have a good fight against Anki. Advance. Yeah, let's put him on the defense. Strong domestic. Yeah, that's fine. He needs to give me some people though because we don't have any people to do anything. So yeah, Chongshan. I'm the only guy in Chongshan, so therefore can't do very much. Alright, there's a good fight coming up. Pretty easy fight. We'll have to wait for their main forces to come and engage us. That will be the most epic engagement. Yeah, but the last game we played, Yuan Sao murdered me. So I'm coming to take revenge. Revenge on Yuan Sao. Because he killed me. Okay, all my guys are probably going to push up fast. Fastest way in is here. Yeah, fastest and safest way to go in. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna select everybody and move to attack. Maybe we'll go to the top. I mean, once we start... Yeah, we're gonna fight Yuan Sao first. We take out the strongest first. Because Yuan Sao gets really, really strong really quickly. And they have like 20, 22 generals or something. So they're very fast. I mean, they expand very quickly and they're very strong. But they have a lot of generals. Their armies are strong. Because well, they have a lot of generals in each. So. so we're gonna take out Yuan Sao immediately 
maybe Liu Pei as well, although Liu Pei didn't piss me off in the last game, so I have no, no vengeance against him. There we go, now they're scared, now they're coming back. That the fire is blowing from west to east. So once I hit nine, they are finished because the fire is going to just push them back. Okay, we're gonna get closer, and that's it. That's the timing. Where am I? Oh, I'm a little far away. I actually have to move my guy a little closer. Now you got it. me. Well, they're staying in the fire. They will get destroyed. What the hell? Zhang Yang is coming to attack us. <laughs> Seems like we cannot even attack Yuan Shao. Or maybe we'll take we'll take Yuan Shao first and then come back and take Zhong Shan back because that always happens. Zhang Yang always attacks. The last game he did exactly the same thing. Yeah, in the last game, Zhang Yang attacked us in Zhong Shan as well. Exactly the same move. Now it looks like Salty Boss is going to defend Tung San. I don't think he's going to win though, because Salty Boss is really, really terrible. Probably the worst, worst character in the game. Alright, moving on. Okay, so we we killed the uh, force that came out to attack us. But now we have to think because yeah, Zhang Yin is coming to attack Zhong San and Pretty sure Salty Boss cannot do anything about it because Salty Boss is terrible. So we have to we have to fight Yuan Sao. We have to fight Yuan Sao first. Because Yuan Sao is a huge threat. He's super strong. If we don't kill him now, man, we are gonna have trouble with him. Oh it looks like Yuan Sao is being attacked by Liu Pei. So it's a two-prong attack. Liu Pei is attacking Yuan Sao in Ganling. We are attacking them at Nanpi. Now the thing is, can Salty Boss hold them off until we finish with Yuan Sao? I don't know. I don't think they can. Because Zhang Yan is pretty strong. Compared with Salty Boss anyway. But if we go back and defend now, we're going to miss our opportunity. So we're going to push. We're going to push and capture Nanpi. We're going to give up Zhongshan because we're not going to be able to hold it unless we go back and defend, which I don't want to do. I want to get rid of Yuan Sao. Yuan Sao is a bigger enemy. Now he's gone back to defend against Liu Bei. So we'll take Nanpi for free, basically. Maybe we'll get back in time. Maybe we will. And then maybe we'll fight Liu Pei next. Okay, 
Chow Chow is making some moves. Yes, we're taking it. We've captured seven officers, including Shen Pei. Okay, we've got our food. Now we can come back and defend Jongshan. Or, or we can continue to attack. So because, you see, the rest of the officers, 15 officers are in Ganling. And Liu Bei is going to take it for free. So, do we defend Zhongshan? Because Zhongshan is not really, not really important right now. Not very important. I'm more interested in taking Yun Shao. But we have to fight Liu Bei. So see, the opportunity now is Liu Bei is attacking Ganling, and he's going to kick. He's going to capture all the officers. So I may as well attack Liu Bei now, backstab him, and take everything. We can ignore Zhongshan because Zhang Yan not going to be very strong anyway. So we can deal with him later. More importantly, deal with all the really strong enemies. Okay, I guess we'll make enemies of Liu Bei. Chen Jin, Chong Ah. Alright, Salty Steve versus Jin Yong. Should be an easy, easy fight. Piece of cake. But then their main forces will come. So we'll see what happens when Liu Pei comes to defend his homeland. But for now, we must make these moves. We must be aggressive. Because we're, as an officer, we cannot, we cannot make attacks on anybody by ourselves. Now, we've been made a governor, but Zhongshan is very weak anyway, so... Alright, so he's going to run this way. Oh, the wind is again in our favor. He's going from west to east, so if we attack his city and he comes back, we'll just set fire to him again and kill him. Let's do that, let's do that. Let's just go attack his base, he's going to come back, and then we'll set fire to him. Nice little trick that we did last time. Jin Jin. Yeah, he's going to start retreating soon. Where is he? Oh, he's not! Oh, he's just going to suicide himself. Okay, I guess that means we win. Oh, he can stop me now. Can I make keys after that? I could, but I don't want to. I want to finish off Liu Bei. Because he's going to capture 15 generals. He's going to capture 15 generals from Yun Sao. So I cannot let him... I cannot let him get away with it. We need to capture... We need to capture all those generals. Alright, so we want this. So now we'll take that city, and if he doesn't defend, he will lose all his soldiers. You see what happened here? If we take Ping Yuan, all of the soldiers here will be gone. But he's gonna take Yuan South first, yeah, he's gonna win. But by then, he will have no troops to come back to resist us. Yeah, we're gonna take it soon. Oh, looks like he, he quit. Yeah, looks like they went back. They dispersed their army. Look, they're all back here now. There you go. So they dispersed the army in order to fight us. Very well. That is what we will do. We will fight you. Now, this is gonna be the first real battle of the game. We're fighting against really strong generals. There's, there's Guan Yu, there's Zhang Fei. Yep, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Liu Bei. Okay. Hey, what's up, Dev Vortex? Welcome, welcome to the stream. 
Uh, now the wind is not in our favor for the first time. It is blowing north to south, which means it will blow up into ourselves. Not exactly in our favor. Alright, so they have two, two spears and one archer. I think we are fine. Yeah, we'll attack this gate, because that's the weaker gate. But before we do that, we'll take away these. Because this looks like it's going to be a tougher battle. So I want to make sure that I get... I get all these forts first. Yep, Salty Steve. The revenge of Salty Steve, actually. Because uh, Yuan Sao actually killed Salty Steve in a battle in the last game. And that ended the game, basically. Because Salty Steve was murdered by Yuan Sao. So now we're we're doing a revenge attack. We're going to deal with Liu Pei, and then we will deal with Yuan Sao. Basically. I'm not a ruler, no. I am just an officer... And we are serving the Salty family, so our, our our leader is called Salty Salty Boss, and he has one point in all stats, so he's obviously the strongest general in the world, with one point in all stats. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to send most of the guys here, except for one cavalry, which I guess I will send here, because it's fast, it will avoid some of these... Oh, it looks like they're coming out to engage us. We'll see. Will they come out to engage us? Yeah, it looks like they, they want to fight. They're gonna come out to engage us. So, in fact, the wind actually will be in our favor if we start the fire somewhere here and then let it spread south. That will burn all of them. So since we are actually going to have to fight, and our cavalry, although very really bad against sticks, it's the only thing we have. Unless we put archers in the front line, which is, of course, also possible. So this is what we're going to do. They're going to come down. This is the choke point. We can hold off all 20,000 with just one unit holding the choke point. And that is what we will do to win this. Okay, these are all bad generals. Hua Zi. Dong Kai is our strongest. And then there's Salty Steve, which is strong. Salty Dog is not very strong, but there are three generals in his army, so he's decent. Yan Li is weak, but, you know. Yeah, all, all of our generals are kind of weak. In comparison to, you know, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu. Alright, so we're going to have to resist right here. So I'm going to put Dong Kai in the front line. And this is going to stay behind. We're all gonna go there and prepare because it looks like they're coming straight after this. I'll move this guy as close to the mountain as possible so when I set fire we'll catch as many of them as possible and this is going to continue take the fort oh it looks like they sent only one okay, that should be good then. we might not even have to do fire attack okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go around. I'm gonna make sure that I can pincer him. That would mean attacking. Okay, wait, not that. I have a pincer attack, right? What happened to the pincer option? Well, I guess it isn't, it isn't there. Oh, these are archers. You can't pincer with archers. You can, but you have to move them manually. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him manually and insert attack him. It's not working? Nope, looks like it's not working. <laughs> looks like archers cannot really do pincers. Well, but I'm going to try anyway. No, it looks like we can't pincer. Yeah, we get no, 
we get no pincer bonuses. Okay, so Guan Yu is kicking our butts. Okay, we're doing okay. Tactically, there's not much we can do unless I pull this guy out and then set fire. But we don't have enough points for fire anyway, so this is fine. We'll just stay as it is and try to do as much damage as possible. Since I can't insert, I'm going to move back a little bit and just use my archer attack. Oh, he's destroying us. So strong. Sumi. Yeah, it looks like we're trapped. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, looks like there's nothing much we can do against Guan Yu's power. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. He's just gonna kill us. We can't get away. We're trapped. There goes Salty Dog. I can still set fire. I know I can do this right. We just need to get to 9. 9 power. Oh my god. Guan Yu is so strong. So strong. They used the ability twice and we haven't even started our first one yet. That's because the cost of it is really high. But it is very powerful if you do it right. What I'm going to do is fire right here. It's going to blow north to south. So he can't really escape. Alright, that should that should deal with him. He can't escape. This is blowing north to south. He has no retreat. Can we finish him first? Hang on, hang on. I think I want, I want to run. I don't want him dying. I don't want him dying. No, he's still going to die. Run! Yep, he still, he still got me. But he'll never get away. Ha 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 ha! Press the advantage. Yeah, we will have to take. The forts first, because the forts are key, so they don't regenerate special ability points faster than we can. Yeah, Zhongshan has been taken by Zhang Yan. That's fine. That's fine. We knew, we knew that. So now I am governor of Nanpi. Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, so now they move this over as governor of Nanpi. But we're going to use the army we have to do as much as we can. So we're going to try to take down Liu Bei. And then we'll finish off Yun Sao. Destroy Zhang Fei. Looks like Zhang Fei is coming out. Brave man he is. He looks like he's going to try to trap us. So we are going to have to try to stop that. Too far! Stop him from trying. Oh yeah, he's trying to try to trap us. Very bad, very bad. Very dangerous, Zhang Fei. We're gonna have to risk it. Yep, we're gonna have to risk it. Oh my goodness, we'll fight. We'll fight under all of this. It's terrible. Find a better way. Let's try to let's try to go out over or something. The base will be finished soon, so he's a really strong general, Zhi. This is Sang Fei. He's super strong. We have to get out of the way. All right, so fire is blowing north to south. If we do the fire here, it's not a bad, it's not a bad spot. Let's get ourselves into the corner. As much into the corner as we can before we start the fire. 
This is this is really really tough. This is about to go down. Maybe we should help. Get rid of it. Quickly. Okay, now it's that. That's taken care of. Hang on. Now I gotta think. If I start the fire here, it's gonna spread into us, which is obviously really dangerous because we're we're gonna be trapped. So I'm going to try to get out of it. Let's try to. Oh, he moved back. Okay, in that case, maybe we won't let you. Maybe we'll trap him. I don't want Zhang Fei escaping now that we have him outside. But if we fight here, there's so many, so many siege weapons that will give us pain. Let me think for a sec. I don't have enough power yet. I need nine points, so we're gonna have to wait a little. Bit. Okay, now we can. We can do this. We can set the fire here, and it's gonna blow north to south. So if he tries to escape, he's gonna run right into us. All right, this is good. This is good. Good placement, right here. All right. Now we have to be very careful because I don't want to fight all of his siege weapons. They're too strong. I'm gonna stay somewhere here, maybe to block his retreat if he does that. Everybody else is just gonna focus attacks. Song fate. Okay, it looks like he's still gonna try to make the run, so we're gonna have to go up to block him. Okay, going north to south. Oh my goodness, we're gonna attack by the calves as I mean by the archers as well. But in order to keep him in the fire, I'm gonna have to go here, put myself in danger. We have to put ourselves in the line of fire. Oh yeah, we're in the line of fire, alright. We're gonna have to run because the fire is gonna catch us all. What the heck? What's going on? Wrap him. Man, that fire is hurting us pretty badly. Yeah, we're taking a ton of damage. It should stop, but apparently it hasn't. Maybe they're using some special ability again. It is looking really bad right now. I think I have to let him escape. We have to let him go because we're fighting under all of these siege weapons. That's just terrible. Just terrible. We'll, we'll let him get away. We're taking way too much damage. Let him get. Let, let him escape. We must. We must let him go. Let's regroup. <clears throat> they still have fort advantages. They have two more forts. Oh, looks like Liu Bei is coming. Mm, that's fine. We'll take this and then we'll deal with him. Good I am going to pull back. You wanna come? Chase me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going for the fort advantage. Oh, looks like they will trap us. So let's not go there. Let's not allow ourselves to be trapped. So we're gonna pull back. To pull back into our own base. Okay, before before Zhang Fei gets here, I think the best idea would be to engage him right now. Zumi. We're going to fight. We're gonna go around and flank the archer. Can you pincer him like that? No, it looks like we can't pincer with archers. That's a disadvantage. 
I'm gonna move back into camp. I do not want to lose her. Oh, hang on. She's not chasing. Stop right now. Wow, this guy, even Liu Bei is pretty strong. This is tough. So we'll pull back a little bit. We'll make use of our, our camp. What's going on? What's going on? Failed to destroy enemy gate. That's fine. We'll escape into our base. <coughs> Sky will go this way. I will come out this way. Now we have you, Liu Bei. Got him. Now we can deal with Zhang Fei. Okay, so if we take this gate down, there is another gate. We still have to deal with these. Yeah, but it's better than here because we have to deal with three. Okay, I think we need to check if we have any siege equipment. We might have something like a siege ladder or something. Yeah, we have one siege ladder, so we will have to take advantage of the siege ladder. Oh, uh, looks like Zhang Fei is holding the gate. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Kong Zhou has been slain by Zhang Xiu. Xu Jing has succeeded Kong Zhou. Pretty epic battle right now. We have very few men left, but we will push on. We will defeat. But we need to gain the power advantage, or at least balance it. Yeah. Once we take this down, since we are on attack, they will have no advantage. Okay, so now it is time. His morale is really low, so if we set a fire, we might be able to trap him in that fire. Alright, let's try. Okay, hang on. We can't use this, because this is just going to get destroyed by Zhang Fei. So what we'll do is, we'll send our archers in. Okay, we're, gonna, we're not gonna attack, we're gonna move. We're not in range? Looks like we're not in range. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to set a fire behind him. I think it works. Because the fire will go south. I think. I think this works because I've kind of done this before. There you go, it works. Even if they show no arrow, it works. But he's not taking fire damage because the, the, the gate can't be under fire. Yeah, he's taking no fire damage, but that's fine. I think we're we're in pretty good shape. Al Sing's army has fallen. Seems like we cannot attack him. Oh, looks like we might have to go personally. So strong, I'm gonna come back. Attack him? No, we cannot attack him. We have to fight him in the gate. Oh my god, we can't shoot arrows at the gate. That's really hard. I think I'll have to cheese it. I'm just gonna wait until we get more fire and just use fire against him because he is so strong. 
Look at his attack. 297 attack. 136 defense. Dude, we cannot fight a guy like that. He's way too strong. He's godly at holding this gate. So what we're going to do is we're going to regenerate and use the fire on him because he doesn't want to come out of the gate. And we don't want to fight him in the gate. So we're going to have to cheese it. Haha, <laughs> if you don't want to come out, then we don't want to go in either. We'll just use superpowers to knock you out. Sang Fei is way too strong. So, as salties, we need to use our smarts in order to beat him. Can't fight him face to face, he's just gonna destroy us. And our horses are obviously useless against the spears, so. Okay, now we can try another burning steer. Oh, we can't reach it, can we? Have to get closer. There we go. Okay, now his morale is out, so we can just push in and attack him. Because he's out of morale, he can't fight back. All of us will attack. Zhang Fei! Ha ha ha! We got you this time! Yes, we win! Ha 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 ha! So we beat him with superior tactics and AI cheesing. <laughs> Liu Bei, won. Okay, so we still have to take the city. So we're still gonna have to. Uh oh, Yun Sao is getting stronger. Oh, we captured it. Okay, Guan Yu. Hey, we are Okay, so now I am going to keep pushing to attack Yun Sao. I mean, you can definitely cheese him. Fire ability is the most OP abilities in the game, so. Oh, it looks like Sang Yan is still attacking us, isn't he? Nan Pi is kind of crap, so even if I go back, I can't really do anything. But, let's see if we can do some... Nope, looks like we can't do any orders. We can deploy. So maybe we should deploy. What do we have that we can deploy? Um, here. Who do we have that we can set out? Ken Chan! Bow aptitude. Alright, that's fine. Let's send Ken Chan out. With some bows. And we need some ladders, maybe. Oh, it's too expensive, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's not spend the money, because we don't have a lot of money. Yep, let's deploy. We need some extra guys. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> Going to attack with Salty Steve. Advance. Gunling. Give them a chance to recover. Okay, it looks like Tao Qian is also pretty weak. I don't know why. Maybe he's attacked. Attacking, yeah, he's he's attacking. Yeah, Tao Qian is fighting with Kong Rong. That is why he is weak. All of his men are here. Okay. Still looking good. Still looking good. Ah, it looks like Liu Yu. Liu Yu is fighting Kung Sun Zan. So they are busy up here. Looks like it's uh Kung Sun Tu is also busy. His troops are out, so they are all busy fighting. Good thing they're not fighting me, because I will die. <laughs> Alright, let's take out Yan Liang. Salty Steve versus Yan Liang. Let's do this. 
Fire is OP. Yeah, fire is the most OP ability in the game. It's very, really strong. But still, you need to know how to deploy it and how to use it for maximum effect. Okay, he has horses, which is very dangerous. Horses have very good ability against archers, so we have to make sure that his horses don't touch our archers. Okay, let's start by attacking this and draw him forward. Wind is blowing southeast, northwest. So attacking here would make sense because if he comes here, we can just set fire to him and his escape path is all on fire. So in fact, let's attack this. Yep. So we make use of the wind to blow the fire. I should stop using fire to seek high difficulty. Yeah, that's true. But we are already playing on very high difficulty because we are playing as an officer. Because as an officer, you're relying on the ruler, which is AI, to do all the important things. So it's already very difficult. That's why we lost the last game. Because we died because the ruler is stupid. <laughs> so AI ruler is stupid and therefore there's very little we can do just as an officer. So it's not easy. Even if we're winning some of these fights, overall we're still going to lose because they are strong. Alright, so he's going to... Looks like he's going to give up his city and just attack us. Okay, yeah, it's kind of dangerous. I think we can do this. We can, we can, we can definitely finish it faster than he can. I think we'll, we'll destroy his base faster than he can destroy ours. He's hitting for 7, we're hitting for 17, so we should be able to do it. Yeah, we, we will win. We will win this. Gong Sun Chan, army has fallen. Yeah, it's right. It's true. It's stupid ruler. So, and our ruler only has one point in all stats. So that makes it quite hard. All right. So he's hitting for five, and we're hitting for seventeen. There's no way we'll lose this. No way we'll lose this. Bye bye, In Liang. Sula. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to attack his final city. Finish off all of Yinliang and Yun Sao. Seems like it is Yinliang in charge, not Yun Sao. Maybe because we already captured Yun Sao. Let's see. Nope, Yun Sao is still here and he's still the ruler. But Yin Liang is the governor. That is good. Yin Liang serve me after we capture his city. Yep, so we have two of them attacking. Should be good. Di Jun Sang Wo Fang Liang Di Jin Jun La. <laughs> 